it's time for another Busang feature release. This release is the 7.8 release. And again, it's mostly focused on usability and improving the help functions in the tool. As usual, you can find the release notes in our forum under here on the right hand side. And you can see feature release 7.8.1. The first things we did were in the tool, uh, we added a number of new features. So if you launch the tool, you can see we've deprecated the old help function and instead we've added a tooltip function that is a little bit easier to find. So if you go and you hover inside the tool, you can see if you hold on something here, you will see a question mark with the tooltip. So you can find these now throughout the tool. So let us know if we're missing it anywhere. Another thing that we did was that we've added auto add environment. This means that again, when you're in the tool and you add a new test, it will automatically add the uh, host URL to the environment setting here. So that's experimental, but I think it will help people to get started with the tool using the environment function. Another thing we did is that we can now add tests and scenarios from the tool. Uh, very simple functionality, but maybe a welcome addition. Now, when you're in the module or the feature list, you can directly add tests in to a module or a feature, which we think can help a little bit with the navigation. We also added a small feature into JavaScript where you can use the await function. So this is especially good when you're doing things that are slow, that are asynchronous, that you need to wait for. We updated the screenshot functionality, so now it should be easier for you in your CI logs to capture screenshots and get the relevant uh, part uh, for a failure. We also removed some unnecessarily weight on failures and fixed the bug around the search in the tool where we got invalid results um, shown when you were searching. We also deprecated a bunch of things. I already noticed the sidebar help view, but we also, if you go into the management tool, we deprecated a lot of the functionality in here, which would be uh, the team view, the requirements view, the module version view and installation view, as that was all kind of old information. And this in, is in preparation for us working on a new simplified and cleaner management interface. So this is just a stepping stone on the way for where we're going on the management view, where we're doing a UI update. So let us know if you see any problems or if you have any suggestions. And again, if you see any missing tooltips, let us know and we will add that to the tool.